Hey guys, today we will be making an adorable Christmas wreath with items from the dollar store. What you will need, a wreath ring, I believe it's 14 inches in diameter. I have some red, white, and green deco mesh. Now, the green, I had to get this from the actual craft aisle because the only green that they have with the Christmas decor that I've seen has red stripes in it. If that's okay with you, then perfectly fine, but just letting you know I did have to get this from the actual craft aisle. So, I have green, white, and red, and I have a few rolls. Some of the deco mesh is in four yards now instead of five, so I have extras on hand just to be safe. And I also have Chanel stems, scissors, or a rotary cutter. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the deco mesh and cut them into eight inch long pieces. Once you have your deco mesh cut into eight inch long pieces, you're going to take one piece of red, one piece of white, and one piece of green, and then a Chanel stem, which I actually cut the Chanel stems in half as well. Red, white, and green, and then half of a Chanel stem. This is going to make one bundle. And you can definitely roll the bundles at a diagonal to make them longer, spikier, more fun. But for this specific wreath, I'm actually going to roll it in a curl. Just like that. So I have red, white, and green. And I'm just like crisscrossing all three, like that. I'm going to scrunch it together, take my Chanel stem, twist it in place. Now, you can definitely use colorful Chanel stems if you have the glitter stems, but the stems aren't really going to show, so that's why I'm just using the white ones. All right, fluff it up. That's what it looks like. And I like to alternate the color order. So for this one, I have green on top. I'll do one with white on top, one with red on top, just to mix it up and make it look more fun. We don't want all the same color on top because then that's the one that's going to be more dominant. Unless you want one more dominant, then you can definitely do that. So you see, these two look completely different. So cute. So I like to go ahead and get all my bundles together because that just makes the process so much faster. So I'm going to make all my bundles alternating the colors and then we'll start placing it on the ring. I have all my bundles here. I have a total of 36 bundles. I've alternated the colors. Now it's finally time to place them on my ring. We're going to take our first bundle. I like to place it on the inner two rings. So you place it down just like that. And then you're just going to twist it. Just like that. And tuck it away. I'm going to go with another bundle on the inner two rings. Twisting and just tuck it away. Just like that. And then the more you get in place, the easier it is to like maneuver and everything. And we're going to place another and you see I'm just alternating the colors just so I have a nice blend of all three colors. have six bundles in this section this is what it looks like so cute and fluffy now I'm just going to continue all the way around the ring six in each of the six sections for a total of 36 
There we go. Again, I used 36 bundles. This is the final product. So cute and precious. Simple and easy to do. Here's the back. And then you can just like fluff it up, adjust it wherever you need to. But I think it looks so cute and precious. You can place a cute sign in the center. It says Merry Christmas or Ho Ho Ho. Whatever you'd like. All items were purchased at Dollar Tree. So you can make this wreath for less than $10. <laughs>